Here we are, White Rim Trail. Just at the beginning, we have about almost 100 miles to complete. Look at these views, absolutely stunning. I have a couple GoPros mounted on the bike, one shooting out, one shooting forward. Should get some great shots along the way. Let's get rolling. Here we go, White Rim Trail. Neck overlook. That must be gooseneck. I'm 12 miles into White Rim Trail. We should be approaching the Colorado River at some point. Yeah, it's 68.3, but I'm sweating, that's for sure. Oh, heck yeah. Let's get a photo right here. I already had the damn bike tip over on me. <laughs> I gotta be really careful uh, with the, the extra weight. I guess I could lean over like this. Hello! I gotta say, there's some breathtaking views out here. And the best part, there's barely anybody out here. Sure beats the traffic out in Arches or some of these other places. Well, let's get rolling. I'm only about 15 miles into this. We have plenty more to see. sure if we'll be able to see the mines but the whole reason uh, this off-road loop exists I believe it was uranium mines they're mining for uranium up here it's awesome they made this accessible to, to off-roaders unfortunately you do have to be registered so they can't come out here with your ATVs or dirt bikes that aren't registered hours for help like waiting a couple days 40 miles into the trail it's a little rough throughout here some wash out
We are exactly 42 miles into White Rim Trail coming from the visitor center entrance there. I'm gonna chug some water and we'll head out in a sec. It's 88.1 right now. One little section there, looks kind of steep. Here goes that Jeep. Oh yeah. Let's watch this guy go up. Okay, this must be it. This is that, uh, somewhat of a, yeah, that's a steep incline all the way up. We're gonna make it all the way up to that plateau. Big drop off to the left. Okay, what goes up must come down, I guess. Here we go. There wasn't uh, as much blue stuff as I was expecting, stuff like that. If there was a bunch of stuff like that on that hill when I was going up, I don't know. It would have been rough. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa. A couple little stair steps. I've just hit my halfway point, 50 miles. This is where I'm seeing a lot more of technical riding. A lot of steep inclines, declines, many more obstacles on the trail. Another steep section. Down below to the left, can't wait to get down by the water. 
over this way. See what we're up against. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Nothing like what we've seen before. I was hoping we would be getting closer to the water, not further away. I gotta stop here soon and chug another bottle of water. Get a little bit dehydrated. I'm getting worn out. We have a slight incline here. Incline, flat spot incline. And then it looks like it kind of evens out up there. No loose rock, no little stair steps sticking out. Should be fine. around the bend. Just gotta go for it. Ah. Alright. Up and up we go. Oh, here we go. Stuff in fine. Gonna gun it a little bit. Get some momentum going. the descent. The only issue with this section there's a quite a bit of sand. Actually like a powder. It's not even a sand. Super soft. Very unpredictable. Almost off of this. No point of braking with the front. I'm just losing control. sand I've ran into the whole trip. I'm really digging in here. There we go. And this stuff is soft. We just got out of the National Park. Awesome. Oh man, that was, uh, <laughs> that was something else. We're not done with White Rim Trail just yet. We're just out of the park. Ooh uh, water break, 81 miles. I think I'm past the worst of it. All that technical, kind of rough stuff. And let me tell you, I am happy <laughs> I'm through with that. My back took a beating. At least I found a nice little shady spot. Got this rock to pop a squat on. <sighs> Should probably get rolling. It is 3.30 p.m. We started at 9 a.m. at the park entrance gate. Not too much left. Let's go.
white rim trail. That was awesome. I did get wiped out though. You know, there's some rough patches, but it's doable. I did it on that big ass bike. I started officially around 9 a.m. and it is 4.24, let's call it 4.30. So seven and a half hours. I kept a steady pace, uh, quite a few breaks. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.